Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and today um, I wanted to share my evening skincare routine. Yesterday I came home from work and I took a shower almost right when I got home and it was so glorious. Usually I wait till like the end of the day, the end of the night and then I feel all lazy and I don't want to wash my face. But yesterday I showered right when I got home and it felt great and mostly because it was really, really hot at work yesterday and I was like extra sweaty and I put sunscreen on when I leave work. I put it on my arms and my hands and I do some spray on my face uh, to like protect myself in the car when I'm driving home. I just I can't with the sunscreen. I have to wear it all the time. Um, and I, it's the one I've been using is a little tacky and stuff, but it's good for what it is, but I like to wash it off. It just feels like kind of gross to get in bed and I feel like this tacky skin on the sheets and stuff. So anyway. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to share with you all the products I'm using. I will do my skincare routine in here, but to wash my face, I'm going to be using the Innisfree Green Tea Cleansing Oil. I love this stuff. I think I talked about this in my monthly favorites. This is just a really, really good cleansing oil. It's super, super thin. It has a really lovely smell that I just really, really enjoy. It's a really thin oil. I do two pumps of this, takes everything off. I don't use cleansing oil or cleansing balm on my eyes though. Have I been crooked this whole time? Hold on, hold on. That didn't do anything. Anyway, I don't use cleansing oil or cleansing balm on my eyes because I just don't, I just feel like it doesn't rinse off the same as it does on your face. I don't know, I, I just don't enjoy it that way. I have a different way to remove my eye makeup anyway. Um, but I love this to remove face makeup. I think it's wonderful. And then for my eye makeup and as like a second cleanse, but then I also am going to use another cleanser. I always overwash my face. I always wash it with an oil or a balm cleanser and then I wash it twice afterwards. I don't know. I just have to. This is the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. I love this stuff. It removes makeup so well. Um, so I use the oil cleanser and then when I get in the shower or if I'm at the sink, I run like the warm water a little bit and then I wet my fingertips and I kind of hold it on my eyelashes until the mascara softens up and then I just move the lashes back and forth with my eyes closed of course. Move the lashes back and forth like this, add some more water, really soften them up. Um, and then I get this uh, face wash, I use one pump. Um, it is, it doesn't foam a whole lot, so I get a little bit of water, like a tiny bit of water and just get a little bit of a foam going. Rub it all over my face, I do it all over my eyes, my eyelids, eyelashes, everything. I go under here, my eyes are closed the whole time doing this, of course. Um, and it removes everything, I rinse my face, it looks great. But then I just feel like I have to wash it again. I don't know why, I just have to. And I, I always use a different, another face wash. Uh, right now I'm using the Garnier Smoothing Milky Wash, this is the Hylua... Hyalu, Hyalu melon. What? Hyalu melon. Hyalu melon. I don't know. Uh, it's a really good face wash though. I really, really like this. It's a hyaluronic acid with watermelon face wash. It doesn't have any sulfates, microbeads, parabens, or dyes. I don't know why they call out no microbeads because it's not an exfoliating face wash. They could just, they just put that there to put it, I think. But a little goes a long way of this face wash. I'm like literally... I would say like a pea sized amount is gonna foam and froth and give you the most rich frothy lather ever. And I just love it. I find it so satisfying to wash my face with it. Rinse is really clean but it doesn't strip at all. Uh, I don't know how it gets so frothy not having any, any sulfates but it does. It works and I really 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 like it. Uh, so I'm gonna use this as my second second cleanse and then I will join you back here after using all those products and showering. I will join you back here for the rest of the evening routine. Be right back. Ah, all right, I'm out of the shower, face is washed, but it took a few minutes to do all that stuff and then gather up all my products and come in here and my face was like, put something on me. Probably because I washed it three times, you know. Anyway, so I was using the uh, Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water Facial spray. This is nice. I love a facial spray. I don't think it really is needed, but I just love using it. And mostly just because I needed something. So I'm gonna try not to forget everything, but I feel like I'm not in my my routine and my space, so I feel like I'm gonna kind of forget some steps. But, um, so what I like to do is this little pad from number seven. This is the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum Activating Pad. I love these things so much. It's a 10% glycolic glow complex. 
and it's not 10% glycolic acid, it's a complex. So it, there's glycolic acid and other things. But it's on this little textured pad, and I love these, and I really think they just help keep my skin really smooth and even, and I love them. But I hadn't used them in, I don't know, three weeks, probably a month. And it's because they're not where they're, oh, they always are. I have them in the bathroom on this top shelf. And after I start putting on other steps, I remember, I forgot to use that. Um, but I notice when I use them every day, they really, really, really help with keeping my skin super smooth and clear and even, and I love them. There is a lot of texture on one side of the pad. Um, I don't use that one a whole lot because it is, it's just a little much, you know, like there's already um, an acid exfoliator on the pad and then using a physical exfoliating pad, I think it's a little much, so I don't use that. Uh, but I love, love these things a lot. Um, next thing I have to mention, I don't know what I'm doing. I just put things on in the order in which I think they make sense, the way they feel good to me, and how they've been working for me. So if I'm not supposed to put an essence on next, sorry. Um, so I use the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. I actually put this on my entire body. I am gonna mention the body care products I put on as well. Uh, but I use this on my whole body, face all the way to ankles, and I think it's really, really good. This is my second bottle of this, but I think when I use it up, um, I'm not gonna repurchase it because I have so many essences I need to open. And I really wanna open the one from Misha that I have. But I had that and I immediately bought another one and I should have just opened up something else instead of doing that. But that's fine. It's a nice essence, I like having it. And like I said, I use it head to toe. And it's amazing. Keeps my skin super like hydrated and nice and I feel like it really helps your other products absorb better. Or is it the toner that's supposed to do that? I don't know. But I did get a toner. This is the Primera uh, Alpine Berry Water Toner. I tend to just bounce around with different things I have open. I have the Milani Aqua Bloom Toner, and I really like that one for the morning. I just feel like something about the scent doesn't feel right at night to me. But I really like this one from Primera, so I'm just gonna get a couple of drops, and then kind of spread it between my hands, press it on my face. Mmm, this just has a nicest scent to it. This isn't the regular packaging. This was a limited edition packaging that they did. So if you're looking for that in the store, it doesn't look like that anymore. And this toner is just, there's something about a nice toner. The water is just like a silky water that you're putting on your face. And it's supposed to help your other products absorb better. And I just really like it. Um, what is next? What is next? Okay, so I am gonna use some of the Mad Hippie Vitamin A Serum. Uh, I've been using this ever since I got it in a little bag from Ulta. I don't know how much to use. It just says, massage into clean skin every other night until skin adjusts, then move to every night. I've been using it every night. I don't know, it hasn't irritated my skin at all, but I just kind of drop out enough. I just kind of, I don't know, maybe, let me show you. Like that much? I don't even know if that's enough. But it's a retinol serum, correct me if I'm wrong. And so far so good, nothing wrong, hasn't irritated my skin at all, and I've been using it every day, even though it said not to. But I think because I use retinol, product, retinol containing products all the time, I don't know if I really needed the adjustment, but I know with vitamin A and with retinol, you do need to let your skin adjust to it because your skin can freak out, it can peel, it can just get really, really irritated. So don't go do it every single night like I did, but I, I feel like, I don't know, so far so good. All right, then I'm gonna do some eye cream. This is the Rock Retinol Correction. Retinol Correction Eye Cream. I love this stuff. This is one of the best eye creams ever. It works if you use it regularly. This is a retinol uh, eye cream. So don't put it on your eyelids. I love putting eye cream on my eyelids and I didn't know you weren't supposed to do that with a retinol eye cream until my eyelids were so peeled. They were peeling so much and uh, eyeshadow was going on them really bad and I couldn't figure it out and it was because I was using this Olay retinol eye cream on my eyelids every single morning and night and I couldn't, I don't know, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about retinol but now I've learned my lesson. Don't put it on your eyelids. But I do like to put it here and on my eyebrows all the way out to here 
I was using this eye serum from this brand Akar and I love it but somehow throughout the night it migrates into my eyes and I wake up with like my eyes feel like they're swollen shut they're so watery um, I like it but I don't know I might just start using it on my face rather than around my eyes um, let's do a little serum so I'm gonna mix two serums together this is the milk drops uh, probiotic serum from Beekman I'm gonna get some of this like I said I don't know what I'm doing I just like to use whatever I want uh, I'm also gonna put a face mask on so it's a lot of steps but I like it and then I'm gonna do some of the drunk elephant TLC from boost glycolic night serum just gonna get a little bit of this at least one pump and just mix them together And I don't know what products you're not supposed to use together, what stuff you're supposed to mix. I don't know if you're supposed to use retinol and glycolic acid. No idea, but I do it all the time and my skin seems perfectly fine with it. So, I don't know. Let me know otherwise though, but this is what I've been doing. And after those two steps, it's very sticky because as you saw, I put on a lot of steps already. But we're gonna do one more step. I'm gonna do a face mask. Um, this is the Aloe Soothing Mask Pack from Benton, one of my favorite ones. I really, really like this one. And depending on the kind of mask that it is, uh, I have a one from Pixie that's a glycolic glow. That one I like to do first because I feel like it gets on the skin. And this one I feel like just a nice topper, just a nice extra serum to put on. So I'm going to put on this sheet mask. All right, here we go. And it's a ton of serum, as you can see. Or maybe not, but it's like dripping. Love this one. All right, see you in 10 minutes. All right, we're back. And as you can see, the light has changed. It's gonna throw that over there. Tons and tons and tons of serum in this thing, like a lot of serum. I feel like I'm gonna let this sink in before I put on the moisturizer. But I'm just gonna show you I mean, look how juicy my face looks, but I let it sink in. It's, it's a lot of serum. So I'm just going to talk about the moisture I'm going to use, but I'm not going to put it on just yet. I'm going to let this sink in for a minute. But this is the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Rich Cream. I absolutely love this stuff. I feel like I talked about it a long time ago on my channel. Um, it just has this most lovely cream scent. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's one that I only really like to use at night. It just, for me, feels like a night cream because it's rich and it's thick. It feels like it has a little bit of oil to it. I don't know how to describe it. It's not oily though, but it's a rich, rich cream, but it doesn't feel like it's sealing over your face. I just absolutely love it. Um, love the scent, love this product. Have bought it for a long, long time. I've used a lot of these up over the years. This is what I'm gonna put on when this sinks in. But while this is working on my face, I'm gonna share with you the body care products I use. Um, so I used the uh, Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence on my entire body. Then I went in with the number 7 Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Moisturizing Body Serum. This is almost empty because I had to like squeeze the heck out of it to get any out. I absolutely love this stuff. The lid broke off. Oh my gosh, this looks crazy. Is that better? I feel like I'm doing yesterday's video again where I have to stay like in one perfect spot. Um, I love this stuff a lot. The lid broke off though, which is fine. It does have that same number seven scent, so I wish they'd come out with this in a fragrance-free version. But even if you don't enjoy that number seven scent, if you're going to use a body lotion on top of this, it's gonna completely go away. Uh, the scent is also really light, but I love this stuff. It feels like a really lightweight moisturizer. It feels like you could almost use it as a moisturizer, but not quite. It's a moisturizing serum, but I feel like I still need moisturizer. But I absolutely love this stuff. With continued use and regular use, you will see improvement in your skin. It has their Matrixyl 3000, which is their anti-aging anti, anti ingredient that's in a lot of their products. And I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. I wish more brands made body serums, but you can just use serums on your body if you want. And then, oh my gosh, this. This is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Butter. I completely forgot this even existed. I went to Trader Joe's the other day to get something else I had seen online that they came out with, this pumpkin enzyme mask. I bought it um, and I saw this next to it and I almost had a heart attack because I forgot it existed. But I used one of these last year uh, during the fall time and I finished it up and it was just 
glorious. And it's a scent that I wouldn't normally like. If this smelled like a candle, if there was a candle with the scent, I wouldn't buy it in a million years. But there's something oddly sweet about this. It says it has coconut oil, shea butter, and pumpkin seed oil. And you can tell there's like a pumpkin scent to it. It's not completely pumpkin spice, but there's like a sweet, oh, it, it's just like a sweet scent. It's definitely a fall time scent. Uh, I absolutely love this and there's something about the way that it mixes with my skin that I, I can't stop smelling myself all night I kind of just go like this. I just sniff my arm and put it down. I just it just smells so good This isn't the same formula as the coconut body butter that they have that one's a little lighter. This one is Thick it's rich and thick and you have to like work it on your skin if you try like massaging it too quickly you'll just be moving your skin around and you won't move lotion around you kind of have to work it in and really get it in there totally worth it it's amazing i bought two of them it's really good so this feels sunken in let's plop on this moisturizer and i know i'm gonna do one more step i know it's a lot of stuff but you know what let me live my life i want to use my things and I just love this moisturizer. There's something so lovely about that scent. I'm gonna do one more step a little later once everything sinks in, maybe like, I don't know, two hours before bed or so. I'm gonna use a sleeping mask. The Kiehl's Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. I love this stuff. This was something I tried in a sample and then bought the full size. This is what it looks like. It's a really, really, really thick cream and you put it on your face, neck, chest, and it's just supposed to tighten and firm everything up. And I feel like this makes a difference. I really, truly do when I use it all the time. It does say to only use a few times a week. What does it say here? Two times a week, something like that? Oh, recommended for use five times a week. Where did I see something else? I use it all the time. I use it at least that, that much. You only need a little tiny bit, but it'll spread across your whole face and neck. One thing I would say about this mask though is don't over uh, blend it, don't over try to massage it into your face because it'll pill. It's just, just get the layer on, spread it out evenly, get it in there and then leave it alone. Even if you have some spots you can still see because it will roll up and pill on itself and it'll be kind of gross. But it, sink, it doesn't sink in, but it dries. So it's not wet and tacky on your pillow. And even if the rest of your skincare was wet and tacky, this is gonna kind of like suck it all in. I don't know. But I really, really, really like this and I'll put this on a little bit later. But that is it. I say that is it, but there was like a million steps. I just love skincare. I love, I don't do all this stuff in the morning um, because I feel like it's too much on my face when I'm gonna put makeup on and it doesn't wear that well. But at nighttime, I'll use everything. I don't care if it like is in the wrong order or doesn't go together. I'll do whatever I want. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know some things you use at night. I would love to know your nighttime skincare routine. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you later in another video. Oh, goodbye. Ugh, the light looks crazy. Because I have a necklace on. A light necklace. Okay, goodbye.